Mia Lauren Internosha, generic questions. Can you tell us about the journey in bringing this film to the big screen following your success with Laura Hasn't Slept? Yeah, so the, the journey of going from uh, a short film to a feature um, was something that I'm incredibly grateful for. Uh, and, and, you know, it was so exciting. It's what you're hoping for when you're making short films that, you know, you're putting them out there in the world. You're hoping somebody is listening, somebody's watching. Um, and that opportunity was huge. And, uh, but you know, it's, a, it's an enormous mountain to climb your first feature, and uh, I feel like I learned so much on it. What is Smile about? Smile is about the uh, fear of the unknown and uh, what it might be like to have your mind turn against you and, and uh, you know, to experience an unknown evil coming for you. What was it like working with Sosie Bacon? Sosie Bacon is an extraordinary actress. I think that she is able to really draw viewers in with, uh, you know, this incredibly human performance and, 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 you know, making the audience empathize and care about the character, but then taking them to these really heightened, you know, anxious, terrifying places. And um, I'm so amazed by her performance. And how about the other supporting cast members, Kyle Gallner, Jesse T. Usher, Cal Penn, etc. Yeah, um, Kyle Gallner, you know, has been in so many like really awesome genre films over the year, and I've been, I've been, can I start that one over? Yeah, yeah. Um, Kyle Gallner has been in so many awesome genre films over the years, and uh, I've been a fan for a long time, and uh, it was so awesome to work with him. He's got this amazing underdog quality about him that makes you want to root for him, and he instantly endears himself to you. Um, Jesse T. Usher just comes with all of this charisma and, and he's able to sort of present one way but then sort of surprise you uh, with where his character goes and um, he was awesome to work with. Um, Cal Penn, I feel like is, you know, I've been such a fan of him for a long time and uh, I feel like we're so familiar with him in one way and I wanted to see if I could, you know, sort of cast him like in a, in a role that was maybe a little surprising for people. The smiles in this film are so unsettling. How did you land on utilizing smiles as a device to represent something evil and sinister? I think that uh, the, the strength of smiles comes from, uh, I'm sorry, can you repeat the question? Yeah. The smiles in this film are so unsettling. How did you land on utilizing smiles as a device to represent something evil and sinister? I chose to use smiles as a device to represent uh, the evil in the film because of the strength of their inherent contradiction. You know, I think a smile is meant to be really friendly and warm, um, but I wanted to see if I could take that and sort of flip it on its head and turn it into the promise of a threat and something really creepy. What can audiences expect from Smile? Uh, I think uh, they should expect the unexpected. Um, and you want me to repeat the question, right? I was gonna say. Um, that's a tough question. How do I, what, can you say the question again? Um, what can audiences expect from Smile? So you could be like, something to expect from Smile is definitely. Yeah. Um, from Smile, audiences should expect to be surprised. I think uh, the movie, uh, ugh. You got it. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, uh, from Smile, audiences can expect a really, you know, frightening ride. It's surprising, it's funny, it's uh, definitely maddening. Um, I hate that too, hold on. From Smile, audiences can expect to go on a really frightening ride, but also a really intense character journey as we watch this young woman really unravel. Can I, can I do that one more time? Yeah, you can do yeah. it as many times as you want. Yeah? Okay. Um, from Smile, audiences can expect a really frightening, nightmarish ride, uh, but it's also an intense character. How did I say it the first time? It was a frightening ride, but also 
an intense character journey and you watch a young woman unravel. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Cool. That's good memory. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. From Smile, audiences can expect a really frightening ride, but also an intense character journey where we watch a young woman unravel. That's all the questions. <laughs> okay, cool. Awesome. Can I do that one more time, actually? Um, okay. From Smile, audiences can expect a really frightening ride, but also an intense journey for a character who's coming apart at the seams. Any better? Something else? Go back. Yeah. You got the idea. You know, just start with like. I'm trying to avoid the like. I think just like lean into like. Frightening ride, but at the same time you're watching this young woman, this young woman unravel at the seams. Yeah. Yeah. Is young woman the right? This character. This character. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Um. What can audiences expect from Smile? Uh, it's a really frightening ride, uh, but it's also an intense character journey. Uh, fuck. Because <laughs> I, I keep saying character journey, and then char eh, I don't want to yeah. say character twice. Hold on. Yeah, I think you're just, um, you know, you, you guys just watching this character unravel at the seams. Yeah. You know. Is it the... the I got it. I've got it. I've got it. Yeah, I got it. Um, what can audiences expect from Smile? Uh, it's a really frightening journey of a character unraveling. How's that? Good. Yeah? Yeah. Good? Right. Awesome. Cut. Cool.